This is pasta alla puttanesca. You won't believe where this pasta was invented. It was invented in a brothel. Oh yeah, they came up with this beautiful recipe. They opened the fridge, they found whatever was in the fridge, they put it together, and this is it. Do you want to learn how it's made? I'm gonna show you. Look how beautiful this pasta is, look at that. Nice colors, got the olives, the capers. You know, you can't be more Mediterranean than this. Look, silky pasta. To make pasta alla puttanesca, we need For two people, I'm using 300 grams of fettucce pasta Imagine our fettuccine, but not made with eggs Made with water and semolina The pasta brand I'm using today is called Liguori It's an amazing pasta made outside of Naples In the town of Gragnano You will love it Then we need a small tin of peeled tomatoes, about 400 grams Two tablespoons of capers, make sure you wash them very well Six anchovies Two garlic cloves, one per person Nice strong chili About two or three tablespoons of Kalamata olives In Italy we use olives from, from Gaeta I can't get them here in Australia, so Kalamata olives is the best thing you can get Generous amount of parsley Extra virgin olive oil Salt and pepper. Now, what I want to do is to cut the chili. You don't have to use fresh one, you can actually use a dry one if you like, but I guess it's always nice to use fresh. If you don't like chili, don't use it. What we also want to do is to crush the peeled tomatoes. So you can do it by hand with a fork or just use this. Gently crush it. Bellissimo, just like this. Beautiful seeds, just like that. If you want to make this dish the most rustic way, this is what you need to do. Be gentle. Now I like to add a little bit of parsley in there. Get a nice pan. On a low heat, we're going to put extra virgin olive oil, about four tablespoons. Now what we want to do is to put the anchovies in there. It is very important that you have this on a low heat. We have the garlic, which we are going to crush. I like to crush my garlic. And here we go. And what we do, we want to add a splash, a little splash, or a tablespoon of water. This way, the garlic doesn't burn. So let's put the chili in there. This is gonna be nice and spicy. We just basically want this anchovy to disappear before we start adding the other ingredients. This process will take less than five minutes on a low heat. Now we have the chili giving the spiciness to the oil. At this point you can see that the anchovies kind of melted. We got small pieces of anchovies, which is okay to have. We can add the olives. So I like to actually crush the olives, the peated olives. And I like to crush them when I put them in. So I get the juice out. So when you squash it, you're actually adding more flavors. The beautiful juice from the olives will give more flavors to the oil. Now we also add the capers. Please be generous if you like the ingredients. And if you don't like capers as much, use less. Do a quick stir. Now all these ingredients are making love together. They're getting to know each other. What I want to do now is to add about two tablespoons of water on top of the olives. Just like that. So we keep our ingredients nice and moist and we don't burn anything. I'm not a big fan of olives and anchovies. I really love this dish and I'm actually enjoying the smell at the moment. Isn't that funny? Now let's put the tomatoes 
and the tomatoes are going to combine all the ingredients together. This is lovely. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at that. Gentle cooking. Now we're going to add some salt. Not too much, just to your liking. Some pepper. Uh, we put some parsley. Let's put a little bit more. If you guys want to add more sauce, feel free to add more. You can add passata if you want. You can put cherry tomatoes. Um, that would be nice too with cherry tomatoes. But I would put cherry tomatoes before the peeled tomatoes. So you get the juice out of the cherry tomatoes. Now I recommend you to cook the sauce for at least 10 minutes. When I low heat, don't rush it. Um, and once the sauce is ready, we can boil the pasta. The sauce is almost ready, but what I like to do is to now crush it a little bit so we get more juice out of the tomatoes. And also on the olives. Just go like that. I think this is a very important step, in my opinion. Can you see there's more juice coming out? It's very gentle, I'm not pushing. I'm doing this gently. Now, always read the instruction on the packet. This pasta needs nine minutes to be cooked, okay? Let's put 300 grams of fettuccia. I forgot to add the salt, so here, yeah, one tablespoon of rock salt or sea salt. You want to stir the pasta. You don't want the pasta to get stuck to the bottom. And please use a large pot, okay? Do not use small pots when you cook pasta. It's very important, we collect some pasta water, okay? So, let's put a mug in there. And here we have the magical pasta water. Before we put the pasta in the sauce, just add about two, three tablespoons of pasta water in there. Now the sauce, it's ready to welcome the pasta. It's been almost nine minutes and the pasta is ready. Look how beautiful it is. Nice and silky. You can use a colander. I like to do this and collect my pasta like that. And then we put it straight in the sauce. Now we're ready to add the fettuccia pasta. Lovely. Stir, quick stir. As you can see, the pasta is absorbing the sauce very quickly. Okay, so we need more pasta water. How do you know how much pasta water you need? Well, you can see, you can see that the pasta is dry. You want the pasta to be moist, to be dancing in a nice sauce. Let's add more pasta water. Now I can toss. See, this is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful and perfect. Beautiful smell. Oh, very nice. Lovely. It's time to serve it. Make sure you decorate it nicely and to finish it off, we're gonna put some parsley on top. You guys can use basil if you want. The original recipe uses parsley and I think the parsley will do very well with these ingredients. The most important part of the video. Eating time! Let's see la forchettata. Nice. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. The pasta is beautiful. Really good quality. And then you got the beautiful flavors from the sauce. The olives, 
the capers are right there, but in a delicate way. And then you have the chili, the spiciness of the chili just kicking in, saying, I'm here and I'm in charge. A beautiful combination of ingredients. I can't believe this dish was created in a brothel. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. And I believe the chili will give you extra energy to go through the night. <laughs> Perfect for Katala, look. Mm. I'm not a big fan of olives, but I love olives right now. Guys, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you're going to make this because it is worth it. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please write a comment below. Do you like this dish? Do you add your twist to it? Let me know. Uh, see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Fettuccia alla puttanesca. Mmm.